It won't open! It won't open! There we go. Hi, how you doing? Minor technical difficulties. So, Facebook Live has uh, added a new dashboard thingy, my Bob. Technical terms, I know. But uh, it's got a new dashboard thing. And so I was trying to, yeah. It was a hot mess is what it was. Anyway. Uh, first stream for this week. Uh, missed it yesterday. Comcast decided that I didn't need internet for, you know, most of the day. And so I, I couldn't really do a stream. I mean, I could post some stuff here and there, but uh, I couldn't. There was no way I was doing a live stream. It just, there wasn't enough. My, my phone is not that fast, so... Uh, anyway, we'll get right on to painting this. This is uh, Legions of Asgore. As Asgore? It's a demon smith. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I don't blame you because they there's no there's no book for them. It's a PDF on Forge World, and the only place that you can get the models is Forge World. Or, if you went to Gen Con and just happened to pick this up because you thought it looked cool, you could get it there, too. Um, but this is the Demon Smith. It's a, they sell a three-pack of them, but this is apparently like the special issue or limited edition or the single one. And like I said, I picked it up at, uh, at Gen Con just because I thought it looked cool. Because, you know, who doesn't want a Chaos Dwarf? Anyway, we will <coughs> we'll cough into the mic as loud as we possibly can. Let's get this started on him. All right, so this is um, <laughs> this is Jacob's army again. Imagine that. Um, but he's wanting like a emerald, and the closest thing I have to an emerald is Eldritch. But we're going to darken it down because apparently these guys, like the lore behind them, it says that no matter where they go, no matter what they do, the ash just follows them. So we're going to go for broke and see what we can get. And uh, But there's like a little leathery jerkin thing underneath there. Uh, we're going to start with that. 
and because I just love the way that it works, we're going to use uh, snake. We're, this is probably going to be about the only thing that we're going to use the snake bite leather for, or contrast for. We might use it on his boots or something. I don't know. Just depends on what I want to do. But I'm thinking that his gloves and his apron are going to be in this dark snake bite. And who knows? I may add some black to that later on just because. Just because I like it. But for right now, we're just going to take the snake bite leather and we're going to work it in. I'm not worried about getting it over on the other stuff because I'll be painting all that later. I'm not trying to get it everywhere, but if I get a little touch of it here, a little touch of it there, better to get the coverage on what I need it on. Like I said, better to get it up there and actually getting all the little bits where I think it would be leather covered. The skin, I'm not too worried about it. I can come back and we're going to be base coating all that stuff and going from there. Not a problem. And if I get it over into his beard a little bit, that's fine. Not a problem, we can work with it. So he's not on his base because I didn't want to do that because the, the base actually has some pretty good detail and stuff on it. It's got some rocks, it's got a little jar that he's dropped and spilled everywhere. It's got a little skull. I didn't want to <clears throat> block that off to where I couldn't get at it. So, he's just poster tacked on here. Also, his hat is just poster tacked on him right for right now. Because, because I said so, that's why. Do I want to do his gloves and the leather too? I don't know. We'll give it a shot. What the hell just happened? I looked up and Facebook was like froze up. A little more. I want him. I don't want this a bright brown. I want this a dark brown. So. More contrast! More contrast! Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, bloop. We're just gonna bloop, bloop. Let that sit in there. And I think we're gonna do his gloves too. At least for now. I may change my mind and go back and change those later, but. If I decide that they need to be black later, that's fine too. I can I can do that easy. For right now, I'm going to try them in brown to see what happens. See if I like that. I don't know if I will. But I'm going to try. So this one's sort of odd. It's, it's one of those models where... I sort of have an idea of what I want to do to do with him, do to him. Yeah. Um. But it also is one of those models where I uh, I'm just gonna take it and see how this one goes. I may actually try to do. Um, I may try to get one of the little kits that um, does the powder 
if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, they make these little weathering kits and everything, and they have like a powder that you can put on your model, and it it's generally done for stuff like World War II tanks and stuff like that. But <clears throat> you can you can do it on other models, and it it's a weathering effect. It's a it's almost well, I mean it is it's a powder for God's sake. And with the, the whole lore behind these guys, you know, they, they travel around and the ash just follows them and it goes everywhere and it coats everything. It might not be a bad idea to put some of them on them. I'm sure not a whole lot's going to settle on them because they keep moving. But I'm thinking that, you know, why wouldn't it be on them too? Maybe like down in the recesses and stuff where it would be hard for them to get out. Be a little settled down in there. So. <clears throat> so, unlike Fire Slayers and all that fun stuff, they don't have, or at least the pictures that I've seen of them. They don't have red beards and all that kind of weird jazz. They have, uh, it's usually black beards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a black beard on him. But before I get down into that black beard, I am going to get into his face and then get into the hair. So for right now, we're going to put the snake bite leather away and let that do its contrasty goodness and see what see what we think of that. We may put black over it too because I sort of like that brownish black that it does and I think it would fit the little I think it would fit these guys pretty well. So we'll see on that. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. We're going to start off with Bugman's Glow. Really weird skin tone especially if you're looking at it going you're going to paint the skin like that. No, this is just a base. We want a darker reddish color up underneath there. We don't need a whole lot of it, just a little bit. Um, because it's a little pointer, I'm going to go with the other brush. Comment moderation. What the heck does that mean? No, I'm fine with doing whatever. So, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to base coat on his skin and everything. If somebody could drop like a message just like hi or something in the chat, I'm sort of interested to see if this new system of theirs is actually working or not. So far I haven't got a single... It's not telling me when folks are popping in, popping out... doesn't even show me when it's it's not showing me crap pretty much hmm it's a little bit of skin poking right there the rest of that's going to be his fish. And then we got to get his bottom lip down here. Like I said, I'm not having to be too neat right now. But I just, you know, 
I want to make sure that I get all the little areas covered with paint that I'm going to need. And I'll clean it up a little bit with some of the other ones later on. going into the bottom of his arm a whole lot because that um, the contrast that we put on there earlier is sort of pooling in there and I really don't want uh, a snake bite leather kitty and flesh tone cross right now that would be bad to his arm. I said I'm not trying to get back in here in here too much yet because I don't where that so if you look right up underneath his arm there's a little pool of snake bite leather just sort of wet hiding out in there you know just saying hi it's just in there saying hi and I really don't want to hit that right now just don't want those to cross right yet if that makes sense I really <laughs> I want this to be Bugman's glow not a mix between the two so one of the fun things with poster tack is if it's if the you can move it around Hey, look, the very first comment that I've got. <laughs> hey, Jacob. Yes, it is a Chaos Dwarf. It is your Chaos Dwarf, as a matter of fact. And I'm thinking that I'm going to do the the brownish-black leather. I think I may go back over that with the uh, Black Templar. I don't know. We'll see how it looks once I get the skin done up a little bit. trying to be careful around the glove and then you just get a good base coat there shouldn't when I get done with this a headless dwarf no he's got a head he just it was easier to get into it That. 
Watch that. I don't think I got as much pooling on this side, so I should be able to get pretty close in there. So if you're watching the live stream right now, um, we're doing the Chaos Dwarf, the Legions of Azguria Blood Rift. Yeah. I don't know how to say it. They're Chaos Dwarfs. Um, but I am right now just doing the base coats and all that fun stuff, trying to get the skin in there. We put a little bit of snake bite leather onto them because I'm thinking it's going to be very... or at least in my head I was envisioning a, like a very uh, blacksmith-esque sort of thing going. So what I may do is I may take... Uh, I don't know. It depends on how the skin looks with, this, with the brown leather. But I may take uh, the black and run that over the top of it to give it that sort of brownish black leather look I don't know yet we're just gonna sort of play it by ear and see how it goes um, do, 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 do. so I again apologize for yesterday my uh, internet service provider decided that I didn't need internet yesterday about noon I try to do these streams Monday through Friday right around noon um, that's when the live one is I usually post it on llama juice on the Facebook page there if uh, if you like this and want to be notified all the time just go over there and hit the like button on that and when the Facebook live comes up you'll be notified um, if you're catching this later I do post these I record them and then post them over to YouTube which is llama juice which is top of the screen um, and hopefully before the end of the year or right at the beginning of the new year we will ha I will have a site um, I don't know what it's gonna be yet but <clears throat> it'll be um, hopefully we get that up and running and we will start taking commissions and selling some of the stuff that I do just for giggles and stuff like the uh, underworlds underworld models and stuff that I paint up because I think they look cool but we'll be selling some of those and like the cards that go along with them so if you get like a warband or something like that give me a suggestion say hey I'd like to see you paint this up and I'll paint it up and then I'll probably put it on there for sale so check it out but that's when the site gets up so right now we're just working on getting all this stuff in and all that fun stuff so now we're gonna go back over here <coughs> where I didn't want to hit that arm I didn't want to hit underneath this arm earlier because I didn't want to blend them. But right now I'm just going to sort of dab that in there. Like so. I think that'll work. So the the camera's making the snake bite leather look a little more brown than it actually is. It's pretty it's fairly dark on my like let's see, okay. There we go. That's a little truer to what it's doing 
here looking at it directly. Uh, I don't think it's going to be dark enough, but I'm going to keep working on the skin and see if that... Because that skin is like really, really red right now. And we're not going to leave it that way. <laughs> <coughs> and as a matter of fact, I forgot that I was going to need one of the washes. So, hold on a second. I need... Ow! Everything pops and crackles and all kinds of fun stuff. All right. <coughs> <coughs> So, we're going to take a little bit of Reichlin flesh shade, and I think I just opened one that... I had two in there, I think. <laughs> That's alright. <clears throat> so we're just going to take a little of the flesh shade and throw it around on this to really give it some dark spots, and then we're going to start bringing this skin back up. So I played <clears throat> Monday night is man, it's not scrolling on this one either. Jesus. Yep. There we go. I figured you guys would eventually start talking about the Slanesh nerf. So I played the last game before the <laughs> FAQ came out last night. Um I don't know. I'm not I'm not mad about it or anything. I knew the I knew that they were going to change it up. So pretty cool. Um, it could have been a lot worse. I could have got like really just hit hard, but I think it's a it's not a bad. Um, it's not a bad thing that happened with them, but I, I think that it's going to be. It'll make that. It'll make fighting them a lot easier. Well, not a lot easier. It'll make it winnable. <coughs> yeah. So Sandy posted that he thinks it'll try more folks to take keepers, not less. More keepers, not less. And that's sort of my initial feel on it, too. Um, you're probably going to see a bunch of folks starting off with a three-keeper list and then summoning in whatever else they're wanting to get to get those keepers on the board because it used to be 30 depravity points to get your keepers, summon in keepers, and now it's 45, which doesn't sound like a big change, but if you consider that's a keeper and a half to the old one, it's a pretty good step up. Um, you're probably going to see a bunch of folks start running three keeper lists to start off with and then summoning in stuff. The uh, was Bladebringer on Exalted Chariot. The Everything in the summoning pool went up. And I think that you'll start seeing some weird stuff come in that you hadn't seen before. Like, um, you're probably going to see more folks summoning in uh, chariots. They went to from 18 to 23. Not a big jump, but pretty good. Uh, fiends are still at 23, which doesn't make sense to me because if I've got that kind of points to spend, then I'm spending it on a chariot, because, yeah. <sighs> Alright. So, I got a question for y'all. Is the... 
Looks real leathery. Oh, that's cool. That's sort of what I'm going for. For some reason in my head, it's got that real... Uh, I, I got that uh, blacksmith leather vibe in my head when I saw the back of this and the gloves and stuff. I can't get that out of my head, so... We're going with it. Um, because we're waiting on the skin to dry, I'm going to start... I'm going to base coat the hair, and it's going in black, and I forgot to get his ear. Damn it. He has this really pointy ear that hides out over here. And I did not get it earlier. Taking his hat off. I was even like pur purposefully trying to make sure that I got his damn ear. There's that. I'll give that a second to dry. <clears throat> so it's weird because uh, sometimes the comments scroll up and sometimes they don't. Makes no sense to me. Alright, so we're going to take a little bit of uh, Abaddon, Abandon, whatever the hell you want to call it, black. I'm just going to take a little of that, before we jump over to it, we're going to take a little bit of that flesh shade and drop it onto that ear to tint it up like the rest of the skin. Boop. Now we're going to take the black and I'm going to start working the details around his let's see we'll start on the back here so there's little pieces of hair that are like floating on top of the armor and stuff I'm probably gonna have to go back and hit some of this but that's fine I'm thinking like these little strands and stuff right here that I'm hitting will probably end up at some point when I'm going to do this armor I'm probably gonna hit them so that's fine it's not a problem we can take care of it as needed Kind of like watching paint dry. Uh, yep. Um, yeah. From the very beginning. So the uh, like I said, these are forge world models, and I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't. It's not really fine cast, but it ain't the same plastic that you get in the normal kits. And a bunch of these older ones are still like the hand sculpts and so they have some little bitty bits on them and stuff here and there that um, I'm just gonna grab this one right here because this is sort of hard to see 
There we go. There's this huge bushy eyebrow. trying to get those little bits of hair and also like when I go to do the armor it'll give me an idea of where the hair is at and that fun stuff so I'm gonna switch over to one of my smaller brushes because I need a little extra like right here next to his arm it's just gonna be a hard spot to get into but it's still drying. Um, that stuff's still drying over there on the side. His teeth are right there. I'm not real worried about hitting them yet because I'll be coming back to do them. He's got what almost look like tusks. Damn it. So with those little sharp edges and everything that used to be on like all the models, like a real pointy brush gets like flayed really fast. It just opens up. Ah, shit. So I hit my elbow. On the desk. <laughs> and instantly put the paintbrush right into his mouth. That was awesome. That was not a happy little accent. That was a oh shit moment. So I'm going to use the little brush to get right around this mouth and this little piece of armor right there. And go back along there. And then we'll go back to a bigger brush. Some of these harder to reach spots. Way back in the model, just sort of hiding. Back in there. Just to, the way that the beard sort of tucks in and out and all that stuff. It's just a couple of little spots that are hard to reach. So, just trying to get the paint back in there, let it set, let it do its little thing. It's gonna be, I mean, we're using black right now, so it's, uh, we'll be highlighting up from there, but 
if we put it in there and we don't hit it, it's a shadow. And there are a bunch of little skulls in his beard here. I'm not sure what these <laughs> skulls are supposed to be from. It, they, uh, I don't, you know. Either the infant mortality rate among these guys is really, really high, or um, they found some really small things to fight. There's that. Going way back in there. Let's see, Sandy put in chat, I think the depravity increase is pretty close to perfect. I like the locust change as well. I think the keeper should have gone up a bit. <laughs> and he's not wrong about watching paint dry. What the hell? Oh yeah, we're back. I'm looking at a video that is like back. What in the hell? I don't know what's going on, folks, but I'm going to keep going. Um, I'm looking at a video... I have painted like his hair and his beard and just about done with his beard and I'm now looking at a video that is back at the very start of that. I don't know what's going on. I'm guessing that there was some kind of connection lost or something or other or I, I don't I don't know. It's so damn weird. Thanks, Facebook. I mean, that's like ten minutes of lag. That is ridiculous. Let me see something. So, I'm also doing this on Twitch. Creator dashboard. Alright. So, apparently this is a caster problem. Because even Twitch is showing it way back when. Hmm. So weird. Well, it looks like I may be dumping caster faster than I thought. Okay. It's so weird. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what to do with that. It, it's got to be a, a, a issue with caster because I've got it going to two different locations. Like, I'm done with the beard. And it's just now showing...
was just now showing where I was. And it keeps freezing. I'm sitting here watching it just freeze. It's so damn weird. All right, so to give you an idea, this is where I'm at right here, okay? Uh, this is done, or the, the beard is done. That's where it's showing on the video. And then, as you can see, it just froze again. I mean, it's a good five minutes behind. 10 minutes behind. I, I I don't know what to do to overdo that lag. Stream health. Let's see what's showing on there. Yep, it just keeps dropping it out. That's awesome. Way to go, Caster. Hmm. It's showing a ten frames per second frame rate. Now the yeah everything's all messed up now. Oh well. So just trying to catch that hair around there. And then we'll start working on the skin a little bit. So we did the Bugman's Glow. We're going to go to uh, Katie and Fleshtone, and we're going to go through, and we're going to do everything but the, like, the deepest, darkest recesses on this. Give it a good shake. I look up, and the stream's frozen. out pretty thin because I still want some of that color coming from underneath it but I want coverage but I don't want full coverage if that makes sense
there. Right along the top. There's like a little vein right there on his arm. Go around. Catch that. Just trying to get in there. <clears throat> like I said, I don't want the darkest parts, like the deep dark corners. But everything but those. So there's still a pool right there of snake bite leather that hasn't dried, so I'm trying to suck some of that up. Because damn. Better grab it right now than let it keep going. Come back. Make that color a little more solid in the parts where I think it would be a little bit brighter. So, I mean, an obvious difference between the left and the right arm. And we'll keep working that skin to bring it up. Switch back to our small brush. <clears throat> and we'll go into the face.
So just a little bit of under the skin there, leaving the real dark parts in there. And just bringing that face up just a little bit, make it look a little more realistic. back here Like I said, I'm not trying to get everything in there, but I want that skin to be a different color. That vein's going to be obviously another color. There we go. And like I said, we'll go back and we'll solidify this color up just a little bit, especially in the more pronounced areas, like right here on the top of that muscle. And through there. Still want some of that red to come through. I just don't want it all. Just a little bit through there. Little spots I'm seeing over here on the other arm. Just put a little bit in there. Just a little bit of color here and there. And then boop. And then boop, boop. Right there. Alright, so we gotta start on the beard, we gotta start on the skin, we gotta start on the leather. I'm in my timer is showing like a hour an hour one but the camera is obviously or at least the transmission is way behind me so I'm going to knock off of here and I may go back up on twitch to try to finish out this a little bit but let me know what y'all think like I said if you're checking this out on Let's see where we're at. There we are. 
you're checking this out on Facebook Live, I'm sorry, it is just acting up like there's no tomorrow today. And um, if you're checking this out on YouTube, sorry, I kept talking to the stream because, ooh, wow, that was neat. Um, yeah, it was acting up big time. So we're going to go back and we're going to do a bunch of highlights to the beard and all that stuff. And then we're still working on the skin to get that to where we want it. The leather, we're probably going to darken that up. Probably going to end up like a blackish brown. Just because uh, I think it fits some more into the character. So I'll keep working on this. Um, if I post it up on Twitch or anything like that, I will let you all know. So, sorry about the technical issues. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, thanks for tuning in. Tomorrow I will definitely do a different, um, different setup than what we got going here because this was ridiculous. But... Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Stay dry if you're in Georgia. Stay warm. It's supposed to be dropping off cold. It's Yeah, it's already starting to drop. So get some place dry. Get some place warm. And go paint something.